if you're thinking of doing it, do it because yeah. our results are just amazing. We love it. Hi, I'm Pauline Mace. And I'm Frank Mace, and this is Tanglewood, our home. The reason we decided to build our own home, Pauline had an accident in 2007, which meant we had to look for a different property, and we couldn't find one that we wanted, so we thought an ideal opportunity to build one. The reason we chose timber frame is that it can be up in two weeks. We would achieve the energy efficiency using the timber frame, and it would also be much better for our budget. Tanglewood is a five bed, two story house, just over 380 square metres. It was a very interesting project where we were actually looking to build a very energy efficient, very futuristic house. The air tightness for this house achieved a 1.04, which again was extremely good. Obviously with having a good air tightness, they wanted a very, very good U value. So we had a 0.1, which again now is pretty much standard because obviously these days with timber frame and with tech vantage E, it's very easy to achieve those very, very low U values. As far as costs were concerned, we had a tight budget and we weren't sure if we could achieve that. And when we finished it all, we were absolutely amazed that we'd come in just about on budget. This is in 2017. We were able to finish our build eventually for a cost of 1,100 pounds per square meter. Frame technologies were very hands-on with this build and obviously this is where everybody's going these days with the self-build market, bringing us in very early doors to turn around and actually deliver the detailed design from planning stage and holding the client's hand through that process and bringing in the other elements to turn around and walk them through the full structural, thermal, energy efficient side of the build so that we can then turn around and deliver their dream. As regards the uh, passive house design, the balcony was a key feature. Solar gain in the winter, but shade in the summer. With the timber frame, well certainly working with Simon at Frametech, we were able to incorporate the balcony into the design, whereas we did find with four other timber frame suppliers, they would just say, no, we can't do it, it's got to be a freestanding extra. The way we wanted to be an eco-friendly house were the solar panels on the roof. We've got a 10 kilo array and we do have a grey water supply. And also the padding on the outside, rather than going for cut down timber, we've gone for recycled materials. So it's a mixture of wood pulp and resin. And it's designed to last for 25 years without painting it, which was also a plus for us. We got involved very early doors, which was key to Frank and Pauline, to take this design from a concept to actually deliver a very energy efficient house for their future. The EPC rating of this house was an A at 109, which was as good as you could get. So we've tried to design the house to be, once it's up, we don't have to touch it much at all. Uh, as regards the equipment that went in, again, we wanted to be as eco as possible and as modern as possible. So we've gone for under four heating throughout, now air source heat pump which doesn't really come on at all, air source hot water pump as well. So again we can use our PV array to effectively cover all those items. Yep, the MVHR. Uh, the MVHR, mechanical ventilation and heat recovery system, which gives us fresh air from outside. Uh, but not losing the heat from inside the house. The TechVantage system we used on this project was TechVantage E and the whole idea of that was to get a very, very energy efficient wall system with a very, very thin overall wall construction because the key driver for Frank and Pauline all along was energy efficiency and air tightness. Environmental impact rating was 108. What would we do differently if we did it again? We would have gone to Simon sooner with gone our Gone to Simon design. sooner, yeah, because yes. we actually employed a designer to start with, then an architect for a change, and then Simon. And we could have done it with Simon from work go. The advice to someone building their own home is I say, don't be afraid to do it, but be aware that you shouldn't put constraints on yourself. So don't put time constraints, don't put cost restraints. It makes life a lot easier. A lot less stressful if you don't stressful. have those time constraints. Yeah. As far as keeping costs down, 
do as much of it yourself as you can because yeah. labour is one of the most expensive aspects of building a house. Choose your trades very carefully. Do take in a lot of recommendations. The part of the home we're most proud of. The whole thing. Because with the design, we, we thought that obviously when we get older, we yep. probably won't be able to go upstairs. So the house is designed so that we can actually live on the ground floor, which we do most of the time, don't yeah. we? Yeah. Um, just the two of us, and if family come, they can use the upstairs. If you're thinking of doing it, do it, because yeah. our results are just amazing. We love it. We know that the bills are not going to be horrendous, and that it's just a comfortable house. There's no drafts. Working with Frame Technologies was brilliant. Uh, Simon is a, is a one-off, I would say. Every time you pick, you, you thought, oh, I need to speak to them, you'd pick up the phone and dial, and Jen was there, and Jen yeah. would always talk through things, yep. and sort things out. Right, I'll get Simon to call you back, and he would. The timescale of the build, Simon came along with the timber frame in September-ish 2017, yep. and we finished in about 2020 at our own pace. This project showcases exactly what Frame Technologies is about. An award-winning business, been in the industry over 30 years, delivering what the client wants, delivering the client's dreams. Frame Technologies has a very, very flexible range of products with TechVantage E, TechVantage S and TechVantage T. And with the hands-on experience and family business is why we're delivering so many award-winning projects.